Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. We know that hydrogen is the first element of the periodic table and that is the reason that it has an atomic number of 1. But what is actually the position of hydrogen? Let us talk about that. So friends, we know that uh, the periodic table is basically classified into different kind of blocks and those are S block, P block, D block and F block. So based on the electronic configuration and based uh, on the understanding that uh, the last electron enters in which of the orbital, we could easily predict that uh, the element is belonging to which of the block or which of uh, the classification of the elements that is whether it is belonging to S block, P block, D block or F block. For an instance, suppose if I am talking about sodium. So sodium is the one uh, which uh, uh, has uh, the last electron that enters in the uh, S orbital. So we could say that uh, that is belonging to S block. For example, for carbon, we could say it is a P block element. But what about the hydrogen? So for hydrogen, as we know that the electronic configuration that could be written as, uh, since it has an atomic number of 1, so I could write the electronic configuration as 1s1. So since the electronic configuration is 1s1 and the only electron that enters in the last uh, orbital is basically s. So we could say that it is an s block element. But we know that s block elements are those elements uh, which are basically metallic in nature and that has a capacity to easily donate their electrons so as to uh, have a uh, complete octet or like for example like lithium so suppose if I'm comparing it with lithium lithium has an atomic number of 3 so that's the reason suppose if I uh, compare uh, the electronic configuration with that of the hydrogen over here so we could get to know that is uh, lithium is the one that has an electronic configuration of 1s2 2s1 so again as I could say that uh, the last electron enters in the s orbital so that's the reason that lithium is an uh, s block uh, or it is an element that is belonging to s block but uh, talking about hydrogen even hydrogen has the same electronic configuration if we talk about the general uh, electronic configuration so it is the same but talking about lithium lithium is basically metallic in nature while talking about hydrogen hydrogen is actually gaseous in nature and that is dihydrogen is present in a gaseous form all the s block elements are basically metals while if we compare it with uh, the chlorine or the halogen atom suppose for example if i'm comparing it with the uh, fluorine and I'm not comparing it with the uh, that is uh, noble gases because the thing is these two elements if I'm considering so these two elements are in a verge to uh, that is they want to convert into a noble electron a noble gas electronic configuration and that is the reason that uh, either they have to take electron or either they have to give electron so for example if I am talking about F9 so therefore the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p5 so if the fluorine atom it accepts one electron then the electronic configuration of the fluorine would be very much similar to that of the neon 10 and if I uh, say that if uh, hydrogen needs one electron so therefore uh, the electronic configuration would be changed to the electronic configuration like that of helium that is helium 2 so in this case basically uh, hydrogen is behaving uh, like an s block element also as well as a p block element also that is suppose if I am talking about lithium so lithium is the one that is that is it has to lose one electron so if it loses one electron then obviously we could say that uh, the electronic configuration would be very much similar to that of uh, that is helium 2 but lithium can lose electron easily and that's the reason that uh, hydrogen is the one that cannot lose electron easily so even though if it loses electron it will have an uni positive uh, it will convert into a uni positive ion but the thing is this hydrogen cannot lose its electron very easily so even if we talk about the electron uh, of uh, fluorine fluorine cannot also lose its electron very easily so somewhere we could say that hydrogen is the one that is behaving like both the property of the s block as well as a p block so since uh, we know that uh, when it comes to halogen and uh, halogen they need uh, one electron very desperately so as to give uh, so as to obtain an electronic configuration stable electronic configuration so here also the hydrogen needs one electron so as to get stable electronic configuration so that's the reason that uh, hydrogen is not even placed in s block and it is not even placed in p block also and because of the different nature also that is uh, uh, fluorine gases chlorine gases so this all are gases and hydrogen is also a uh, in uh, is present in a gaseous form so even uh, it is basically uh, 
gaseous in nature it cannot be placed in the p block also because of different kind of uh, chemical properties like uh, for example if i would say that is a uh, s block uh, the s block elements like suppose if i am talking about that is a uh, sodium so sodium is the one that could uh, combine with that of uh, uh, halides like uh, nacl naf so even the hydrogen has a capacity to combine it with uh, halides like hcl hf hbr so it is been formed so there are different uh, various uh, basically we could say various reason that uh, that could uh, uh, give us an evidence that hydrogen is the one that behaves like an s block also as well as there are also certain properties uh, of hydrogen that is behaving like a p block uh, that is especially halogen atoms so that's the reason that it is not placed that is uh, in s block and p block it is present in the special category and there are also certain evidence let me talk about that also so whenever it comes to ionization enthalpy so as i have discussed earlier also that is whenever it comes to ionization yeah. enthalpy means uh, we have to give certain kind of energy so as to remove the outermost electron so let me compare it with the, the lithium so for lithium suppose if i am talking about the delta h or the ionization enthalpy for lithium so as to form a basically uh, a univalent uh, uh, that is uh, ion so therefore it will be basically it is found to be 520 kilojoule per mole means lithium is very much uh, uh, eager to lose its electron so as to get uh, in a uh, stable electronic configuration so if i compare it with uh, the uh, halogen like fluorine suppose the delta h it has been found to be that is 1680 kilojoule per mole so that means we have to provide more energy so as to remove one electron so it is not uh, that much easy to remove that is uh, electron from fluorine because it is the it is the most electro negative uh, element also in the periodic table and let me talk about that is hydrogen so for hydrogen here basically we have got n data and that data is basically it has an 1312 kilojoule of energy that has been needed so as to remove the electron uh, first electron and uh, that is how this data it clearly indicates that it is neither near to that is lithium that is a best block and it is not even near to that is fluorine so that's the reason that hydrogen is not even placed in s block either in p block so there is a special position of hydrogen in the periodic table and that is so we know that uh, the periodic table is basically so this is just an uh, schematic diagram that i have just to explain that uh, this is s block this is p this is d block and this is f block where we have to that is uh, give the position to the hydrogen so hydrogen is not belonging to s block neither it belongs to p block so that's the reason that hydrogen has a special position and that is at the top of the periodic table so this is what the position of hydrogen is having an atomic number of one and having an atomic mass number of and relative mass number of that is 1.008 so this is what i want to talk about so this uh, lecture was very much essential for us to understand because uh, we know that uh, s block consists of metal while p block consists of metal metalloids as well as gas and hydrogen is the one that is fulfilling the electronic configuration of s block also but somewhere it has a property very much similar to that of the uh, halogen also so that's the reason that uh, uh, neither it could have been placed in s block neither has been uh, could be placed in the p block also and uh, as we know that all the elements are basically uh, are classified based on their chemical behavior or based on their physical property and that is what the hydrogen has been placed over here so that's it friend that is what i wanted to, to discuss about that is why hydrogen is being placed in the different position in the, the periodic table so i hope you have understood that so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you will share this video with your friends too so till then don't forget to subscribe ek channel thank you so much